I would first of all say that, you know, everybody here today, that we are all dedicated educators. And I suppose for me as an educator, the big thing is that I want to continue to learn and I want to continue to be excited by what I, first of all, learn and by, second of all, what I teach. And for me, being part of the Partners in Learning Network has completely changed how I teach. Um, in 2008, I was involved in the Innovative Teacher Program um, and we traveled to Zagreb with the project um, based on aviation that we were doing in the school. And that project came first in Europe. And from there, we went to Hong Kong to the Worldwide Innovative Teacher Forum and the project came third. And what the doors that that opened for me in terms of my personal learning network have been absolutely huge. And the people that I've met both in real life and virtually through Partners in Learning have added to the style of teaching that takes place in the classroom, and not just in my own classroom, but in the classrooms um, throughout the school. And I would like to think um, in other classrooms in our neighboring schools where we have helped teachers and gotten involved with them because I think the most important thing is that you're not the solo teacher in the classroom anymore. You have a network that you can easily access across the world where you can get great ideas that you can apply to your own context. And, you know, Deirdre spoke about the village. We don't have a village in Clontoskirt. We have the school and the church, and that's it. But we have a really good community. And the community that we have are skilled in many areas. And for me as a teacher and for the school, it's very important, you know, to build relationships with those people that they feel comfortable to come into the school and share their knowledge and to help the children to bring up their knowledge in various areas that they're interested in. So, for example, the Ringfort project, we engaged with lots of different people in our local area and through that we were also able to engage with people outside the area that brought their skill set into the classroom. Um, through the Partners in Learning Network as well, it's not just within Ireland. The beauty of it is that it's global. So, for example, um, I have a really strong connection with a teacher now in Canada, and she works in kindergarten. And some of the projects that she has taken on in Canada, we have been able to access and learn from in Ireland. In fact, um, we did a collaborative story-based project with our junior infants and their kindergarten two years ago, and it worked out really well, building their literacy levels. Um, we have also, I suppose, which is really nice, that we have informal CPD all the time. For example, we're using a differentiated spelling program at the moment, um, the Alpha to Omega program, and it's been fantastic across the school. And it was something that we were mentioning um, on Facebook in a private message a couple of nights ago. And she's actually got the program over there now in Canada, and she's going to trial it and see how it works with her students. So it's that kind of knowledge sharing that really is, the, I suppose, the gold um, in terms of partners in learning. And that's what it's all about, that it's, you know, it's teachers, it's the community, it's the skilled workforce, the skilled people within the community and outside the community, that you can engage with those in a safe way for the students. And that's very important for us within the school because yes, it's very important to you know, open the doors um, for the students, especially in a, a small rural school, but it's also very important that they're protected. Um, and that's something that every primary teacher is very conscious of. And for us, we, w we try to teach the children from a young age to be responsible on the web. Again, um, on the blog, they use nicknames. Any photographs that they post, they know that they're posted in groups, that their names don't appear beside photographs. And these are things that they are learning from the age of four. Um, one very important lesson I think I've learned um, as a teacher is that you never stop learning yourself. And to pass that love of learning on to the students is something that we're all trying to do. Um, I, in terms of technology, 
I think it's very important to put the technology into the students' hands because it's all very well fine if I can do it, but if they're not able to access it and easily and without um, worrying if they're going to break it and are they going to get into trouble, that's not what it's about. And, you know, the, the students in school um, have been using technology for years and they've never broken anything. Why would they break something when they want to use it the, the following day? And they have a respect for it because they feel ownership of it themselves. Um, I suppose for us, this has been a huge learning experience. And for the students, I think you'll agree, you can see how independent and how confident they are at the age of 11 and 12. And that's what we want for our students when they go out and whatever job they take up, whatever path they take in life, that they would take that confidence on and that they would be able to enthuse other people and to share their point and to also have a strong knowledge base. So the communication would go hand in hand with that knowledge base.